Hello my angry nerds, this is Fanboy and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void Edition. This game is coming to you from ASL. I had to remember, I'm like, I know it starts with an A. Um, let me introduce the players to you really quickly. You have Nurtio as our red zerg. On Bridgehead, he is in the semi-bottom right side, and his opponent today is going to be Masa as our blue Terran. I almost said Protoss. I do not know why. Uh, he, his name is in Korean, but the replay and what I can find on Wikipedia and other places is this is Masa. So... I am taking their word for it. So we're we're gonna go with that. He is in he is on the bottom or top ish left side of Bridgehead. Bridgehead does have these rocks, of course, in your natural that can be busted down, and it has all of this very exposed um, high ground that you can land crap on if you are a Zerg or Terran or pretty much any other race like, well, Protoss. But, and then Natural, and then a third, and has a bridge over water, of course, and then you can't forget the back door uh, to the third and all this uh, exposed high ground. So, we are going to see uh, Masa get a barracks and then possibly he does have gas so it could be for a 1-1-1 one, 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 or just for an orbital so that's a thing uh, Nurcio on the other hand does have a pool I th what I think he did was he got a hatch first and then pulled then gas uh, because he already has speed on the way, does have two Zerglings and two Overlords, so that Overlord is going to uh, escape to the high ground. And it looks like Masa is most likely going for a 1-1-1. Um, he does have a factory on the way, he does not have a starport because you need a factory to produce a starport. Um, he could be going for uh, mass factory play. I mean, I highly doubt it. I really highly doubt it, but that is always a possibility because he has two gases. And then a supply depot right here just to make sure there's no lean shenanigans as I can no longer talk it seems. Uh, Nurcio looks like he's just droning up at the moment doesn't have a lot on the way. He does have a third hatch on its way. Um, Masa, on the other hand, did go for a 111. He does have a starport and is getting his third gas. He still has not taken this gas in his main. Uh, Supply Depot. I mean, there's not much else going on. He is producing uh, Liberator. So, Liberators are extremely good on this map because of all of the dead space around this map, especially at like the third. You can put a Liberator here, lock down this Meryl line, and the only thing that can really kill it from a Zerg perspective is a, uh, oh, what are they called? Um, they come from Roaches. Uh, Ravager. There you go. I know my English. I know my I know my uh, units. Small engagement out in somewhat the center of the map. Uh, two Hellions and a bunch of Lings. Two more Hellions join that first Hellion and those Lings are going to go home. Because they, uh, they know if they engage they're going to be roasted and toasted. And that's what happens. Two Ravengers are here. And so is the Liberator. Liberator needs to get out of there. He doesn't die completely, but he does get only one kill for his effort. 
Um, more Hellions are piling up right here. And it looks like uh, Masa is going to try to take a third base. Adding on two more barracks. Uh, getting Stim out. He only has a handful of Marines. He's been mostly focused on Hellion production so far. And he is also producing a Viking for Overlord hunting. Uh, let's see what's going on. Bunch of Hellions. What does Nurcio have? There are two Liberators right here. Liberator has, what, five kills? That one has only one. Needs to get out of there before the explosive bio, if I can talk, uh, hits them. Uh, roaches do come out and are most likely going to scare this Hellbat force and Liberator uh, out and about. There are two more Hellions here, but they're not transformed. Um, and these Hellbats are extremely low. Uh, Nurcio does have to be careful because that explosive bio does do friendly damage if a friendly unit is right by it. Uh, needs to avoid that liberator. So let's see what's going on, gonna happen. There are two lanes joining this fight. Uh, you need to really cancel that command center foul. Need cancel. Need cancel. And are you going to lift up? I don't think you are because there are two Liberators here now uh, to zone control. And that Nurcio knows that, so he's not going to walk into that uh, on purpose. So his Roachling uh, Ravenger combo does leave to go home. Uh, Drop is coming out from Masa. Uh, the Viking looks like it's going to join the drop. So back at home at Nurcio's base, he just has, he's sticking with the uh, yeah, Roach uh, Ravager combo. So I don't think he has much tech outside of that. He does have two spore crawlers, but they're on the wrong side of the space to prevent this uh, this drop and all of these drones all of the humanity all the extreme humanity all the extreme humanity uh, most of those marines do survive well, let's see oops there we go let's see what how many kills how many worker kills Nur Nurcio suffered he has suffered 31 to 4, and then army supply and workers. He is ahead by 9 workers, so that's a thing. He is not ahead by uh, army count. He's Moss has got him by about 5 or so. Uh, drop here in the main, does kill the queen. That's going to delay his injects and goes on a absolute rampage in the main base. Meanwhile, you do have an attack on the front, basically, base of Masa. With this very small choke, you've got Ravengers that, that are meleeing things, and that's never a good thing. And even an SCV wants to get in on this party. And dies for his uh, for his cause but right now it's just Nurcio's in desperation mode and flooding wings like nothing other uh, does have a bunch of roaches and Nurcio does call GG so that's a thing he was going up to a fourth but he just lost too many uh, well drones really he lost 41 drones to five I mean that's 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 insane. Uh, Nurcio was down by a good almost ten workers, roughly ten workers. You can do that math. I'm not going to do it because I'm on air, and 
I have learned not to do math on air. So that's the thing. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you want more daily StarCraft, uh, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next cast.